Hey, Tapping Your Lives Math and History, and we are going to take a look at the Exponential Rules. So, we've been taking a look at exponents in the past few units, and an exponent happens when you put a number right here, and you put an exponent right there. So we say 3 squared, or 3 to the power of 2. That is 3 times 3. If you say 4 to the power of 4, you would have to do 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. Or simply, we should say, you multiply the base by itself that many times. And when you're playing around with big numbers, that's where in mathematics, the exponents are very, very powerful. But, what happens when we try to play around with the exponents? Like we add, subtract, multiply, divide, and etc. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to understand and learn if you were to do all that with exponents, what would happen? So, what we're gonna do is, here's the first one. The top equation is kind of like a little formula to help you understand how it all works. The bottom equation is going to be an example. So right over here, what happens when you multiply exponents? Well, when you say am times am, you are going to get a m plus m. When you multiply by exponents and have the same base, what you would have to do is do 2 and 6 and multiply them each other. M and that one. 2 and 6, you would add them together. So 2 and 6 would be 8. So 3 radical 8. That's why we say A M plus M. 3 to the power of 8. 2 plus 6 equals 8. Sounds kind of easy, right? Well, what happens when we try to multiply, but also when we try to divide. When we divide exponents, it's going to be a little bit different. If you multiply exponents by adding, dividing exponents will mean you have to do the opposite, which will mean subtract. So it will be a and a and m minus m. So you have to do m minus m. a, m minus m. So what will happen is, if you have the same base, again, you're going to have 10 minus 8 is going to be 4 to the second power. So that is going to be what happens when you divide the exponents. But what happens if you try to add or subtract the exponents, like 3 to the 7th plus 3 to the 2nd? Or what happens if we do 3 to the 8th minus 3 to the 4th? Well, what you would have to do is put them in its actual number form and actually simplify them out. Which means there's no really any shortcut to do without using a calculator to add or subtract exponents. So that isn't really a shortcut. So if the last time we looked at dividing, what happens if we try to do more multiplying? So, this example right here is very, very powerful, because let's see how big it actually gets. When you have 9 to the m, 9 to the m, and n, that is basically saying an exponent being squared by an exponent, or an exponent to the exponent. For example, we have 9 is m times m, so it's very, very powerful. 7 to the 4th, and then we have to do that to the power of 8. 7 to the power of 4 to the power of 8. Really, really powerful. 4 times 8 equals 132. So, it's a really powerful number, a really big one. 7 to the 32nd power. Wow, that is really massive. So, here is how we play the game. Any negative number must be moved, and every positive number will stay. Let's see what happens. x squared is a positive number, so it stays on the top. But uh-oh, we have y 
to the negative third, we have to move that to the bottom. So we're going to put y to the negative third to the bottom. b to the power of 4 is a positive number, so it stays where it is. c to the negative 8 is a negative number, so it has to move to the other side. We're going to say c to the positive 8. But wait, that is supposed to be a positive 3, because the mistake was every time you move an exponent, it's going to change its number. So positive to negative and negative to positive. And finally, d to the power of 10 is going to stay a positive number, meaning it would stay by itself and it wouldn't really switch any sides. So yeah, that concludes the video. I hope this video has helped you understand the exponential rules. Thank you for watching Taoping Airlines Math Industry. Like and subscribe.